Hello everybody, um, this is Mike the Rockstar, and I have completely made a vanilla server world. Keep in mind I'm not an excellent builder, but I am pretty skilled at the building world. So, um, just because I wanted to make this a rest job, I somewhat took some elements out, but I implemented some good elements that actually show my thing. So if I can just show you, uh, it's a vanilla world, I colored the world, which is in one of my videos how to color the name of your world. So when I join this world, it actually spawns you right here, but I moved. And we have these portals here, and I'll show you how everything works at the end. So we can go to the parkour hub, we can go to the wild, we can go to the PvP arena, and we can go to Walmart. Now keep in mind, when I press tab, even though I'm not on a you know, multiplayer world, it still has my name and, um, a number by it. The number by it means, um, the amount of coins that you have. And my name represents the, um, the rank I'm at. So, the current rank I'm at is, mm, nothing. But the only way you can get coins, um, as of right now, I'm just a little lazy, is if you complete some parkour. And if you complete parkour, you will get a certain amount of coins. And as of right now, since I'm a little lazy, on, only the shrooms parkour is open. So let's go to the shrooms parkour. This is also kind of a rush job, so I just decided to build it really fast. But I am more skilled at parkour, actually. Let me show you that every single jump is makeable. Oops. And here we're at the end, so we go through the top, and now we have this little pressure plate, we step on it, set the score to that, which added 10,000 coins to my inventory. So now if we go back to spawn, which is kind of the only way to do it, is slash kill, because it's vanilla, now we can go to Walmart. I mean, even though we don't, probably don't have enough coins, that's not Walmart, where is Walmart? PvP. I think Walmart is right here. Yes, Walmart. So I am. Yes, I completely built this. There's W A L star M A R T. I completely built this. I was gonna record it for a time lapse, but I got lazy. So if you go inside, we have survival items, PvP items, and ranks. So let's go over to the ranks. And it shows it in these colored signs, which I'm a little proud of. Um, first things, first text on there is the rank, the amount of coins, and then the little message. So as you can see, if I press the button, I don't have enough coins. But if I do this command, scoreboard, players, set, Mike the Rockstar, coins, and I do number, which is 1-1 one, one, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. And I press this button, it'll teleport me to this lower area. It'll say thank you for your purchase. Added one player to Team VIP. Teleported me back to here. And set my score to zero. So now, if you see my name, it's green. And I have zero coins. Because I just bought a VIP and it removed my coins. What if I give me more coins? Oh. My maximum is nine zeros. So now, if I give me more coins, um, well, first things first, um, did I type, okay, so if I type, it'll show my name is green. This is the only way that you could do it in vanilla, um, if you want to do it on a server. If you didn't want to do it on a server and you just want to have a vanilla world, you could actually get prefixes, but I just wanted to show you what I'm capable of in-game and for servers. So now we could buy the VIP bonus. It's free, and it's only for VIPs. See, if I go to the legend, and I click this... I'm unable to get this because I'm not a legend rank. Now, if I press the bonus, as you can see, it gave me some more coins up there. So now I'm going to buy the legend rank. So now I am a legend.
And again, I'm able to get coin bonus. As so you can see there. Oops. Doors. So now let's see if we could buy the pro rank. Alright, just make sure my microphone is unmuted. Alright. So, now we have the pro rank. And of course, like always, we can get the pro bonus. Which I still need to fix that on. Kind of mess up that thing there. Well, I got the pro bonus, so I got some more coins. Now I'm going to get the diamond rank. And as you can see, my name is now in aqua form. Of course. So now, if you get the staff rank, you can see on the sign, it says apply on the website. So we can apply for staff on this website, which is, I think it's fake. I'm not sure. And then the staff bonus, it just tells the staff to do the command to give themselves coins. So now we got that out of the way, these do nothing because I got a little lazy. But they will give you stuff. Same thing for these, I didn't get the signs colored yet. I was, but too much work. Alright, so going back to spawn now. Now we're going to go to... Oh, we already did the parkour hub. Let's go to the wild. And now we have just this little sweet nice cozy area where we could do some survival you know just get some wood and stuff but we're not gonna do that we're gonna continue on with our little thing oh there's spawn over there <laughs> let's just fly back over shall we okay Last stop is the PvP arena. And. Yeah. Oh, pesky rain. And of course, I made this a little rush job so you can get your items at the Walmart, which you just saw a few minutes ago. And PvP is enabled beyond this point. So anything beyond this point, PvP will be enabled. And I could have made this better, but. Rush job and uh, lack of time. So, there you have it. Oops, a second. So, there you have it. This is what I'm capable of doing in Minecraft and what you're capable of. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of teasers and things how I did. If you don't want to see it, then you could stop at this point right now. Oh, I almost forgot. The broadcast. The auto-broadcaster. You know in servers when they always like have that little message thing that pops up in the chat every once in a while? I was able to recreate that event on Minecraft. So let's say I go to Walmart. And I'm here. I'm going to buy stuff. Yada yada. And the time stamp is really spaced out. Like, I think it's, like, very, very spaced out. Like, as you can see, I already pressed the button. It's taking forever. See, right there, it says buy VIP and other ranks at our Walmart. And as you can see, we could buy VIP other ranks here. Except for staff. Sad face. So now let's say I want to go uh, do some parkour. Uh, yeah, let's just go do some parkour hubs. Let's do it. A shrooms parkour. Eggs. Eep. As I'm doing the parkour, and you can see it is very spaced out time-wise. In fact, after this one message, I'll show you how it does it. Your coins by pressing tab and looking by your name. Well, it kind of ran over my name. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this is happening. Underneath spawn, this huge thing, since you can't escape, I put this little redstone timer thing. As you can see, it's kind of spaced out with the time. And I put one command block every huge hump. So, easily time spaced out. Kind of had an error at first, but I smoothed it all out, and here's where the error began. I was trying to 
twist and turn, but I didn't realize that overlapping would kind of be a bad thing. But I made it work out all in the end. And yeah, as this is running, I'll go ahead and show you how I did some more things. For example, these portals. How did I do it? Well, under here is a very simple laggy, not that laggy, but a little laggy clock system. I just took this hopper and kind of made a little connection right there. And I put some redstone in it. Then I used these comparators to go to a command block that tests for all players within a radius of an area, which is the portals. And then it teleports them to their rightful area. So say if I go into this portal, it'll test for me, and then it'll teleport me into that area. And slash vote isn't on here, sadly. But that's how I did that. Now what a Sorry about that. But what about Walmart? How did I do it? Well, it's very simple. Not that simple, but very simple. Not. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So under here is a little thing that teleports the closest player with his score coins minimal. Um, sorry about that. So, uh, score coins minimal, like the minimal number of coins that she should have, is this amount. And it teleports them to this little outback area which I had. That's what's right here. If I break this open, they step on this pressure pad that tells Roz them thank you for your purchase in a very complex way. It adds them to the VIP team rank. It removes their coins. And then teleports them back to the front of Walmart. Same thing goes for the other ranks. Except there's one minor difference for each rank. For the VIP, it just teleports any player. Any new player. But for Legend, it teleports VIPs. So you have to be VIP to get Legend. And then you have to be Legend to get Pro. And then you have to be Pro to get Diamond. And then Staff, you just apply. But for the bonus, it just teleports the closest player with the team. So this team gets this thing. This team gets this. And so on. That's basically how I made this world. And how I did everything. So this basically show you shows you what I am capable of doing in Minecraft. And what you're going to be capable of doing. And what everybody is probably capable of doing. If you want more t tutorials, please click that subscribe button. And make sure you like this video. Or dislike it if you hate it. Make sure you give me your nice feedback comments down below. And if you want to give me hate stuff, I don't care. I'm lazy. Thanks, and see you later.